Our ABC News exclusive, the Slenderman case that shocked parents across this country and across the world. Parents saying this could have been their daughter. Police say two 12-year-old girls stabbing their friend 19 times, leaving her in the woods to die. She crawled out and survived with help from a hero who discovered her. Tonight, right here, you meet that hero. It's a Friday night in an American town, Waukesha, Wisconsin. And a mother and father, like so many parents across this country, are sending their daughter on a sleepover. And they know her friend well, Morgan Geyser, another 12-year-old, celebrating a birthday. It was a Friday night, right? It was a Friday night. And had she gone on sleepovers before? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And th this was just, a, you know, her just best friend's another, birthday party. another Friday night. And then they were talking about it for weeks. So she was going to go roller skating, have some pizza, and spend the night at her best friend's house. Yeah. They were probably going to watch movies. She had absolutely no idea. No. What she was walking into. No. She, was, she was blindsided. It is unthinkable. The first moment anyone would begin to learn of that horror was this call to 911. And just listen, at first, the operators cannot believe what they are hearing. He came upon a 12-year-old female. She appears to be stabbed. She appears to be what? Stabbed. Stabbed? Correct. Greg Steinberg was riding his bike that morning on a path that had actually been chained off. It was pure chance that he came this way. Sir, are you with her right now? Yes. Is she awake? She's awake. Is there any bleeding going on? Her clothing has got blood on it. Okay, and you found her and she was just laying there? Yes. And you were biking by and she says to you what? Could you help me please? I've been stabbed multiple times. I quick got out my cell phone. I was shaken and dialed 911. I just stayed with the 911 operator and I offered her water because I had a water bottle on my bike. The other thing she said was she's having trouble breathing. We have been on a journey with this extraordinary family as they retrace every step. Grateful to every person along the way who helped save their daughter. Thank you hugging the man who first found her beside the woods. And tonight, you'll meet the 12-year-old girl. Her smile has finally begun to return. She takes us to her favorite place in the world and the one triumph an entire community was hoping for. It's been an incredible journey with that family. Later tonight on 2020, why did the girls do this? What they told police, trying to impress that fictional character on the internet. They were found walking to a mansion in the woods that did not exist. A special 2020 Out of the Woods tonight at 10 Eastern, and you will meet that brave 12-year-old girl smiling again.